Imagine your computer as a bustling city. The CPU, RAM, storage, and peripherals. Well, those are like the roads, buildings, and utilities. But without someone to manage the traffic? Yeah, things would get pretty chaotic. That's where our hero steps in. The operating system. The OS is the unsung hero. Managing your computer's hardware and software resources like a pro. Think of the OS as the ultimate city planner. It doesn't just sit there, it actively manages everything. Let's break down its job. First up, process management. The OS is like the referee of a relay race. It schedules, starts, stops, and ensures everyone's playing nice. One process at a time, folks. No pushing. Next is memory management. The OS knows exactly where to stash everything, so no file gets lost in the chaos. It's like organizing your closet, but way cooler. Next is file system management. The OS is a meticulous librarian. Need a file? No problem. The OS will find it for you faster than you can say control plus F. Next is device management. The OS directs traffic between your devices. Whether it's a keyboard or a printer, the OS makes sure all the devices play nice and follow the rules. Next, security and access control. Think of the OS as a bouncer, making sure only the right people, er, processes, get in. No shady characters allowed. And lastly, we have the user interface. Whether it's through a command line or a shiny GUI, the OS is your friendly tour guide through the city, helping you get where you need to go. Let's take a look at the main types of operating systems and how they handle tasks in their own distinct ways. Batch operating systems. These handle tasks in batches without human intervention. Jobs are collected, then processed one by one. It's basically the work smarter, not harder. OS. It waits until it has a big pile of work before it even considers starting. Time-sharing operating systems. These allow multiple users to use a computer simultaneously by giving each person a small amount of time to use the CPU. Imagine you're at an ATM and everyone gets a turn to use it for a few seconds. Here, the computer shares it's time across users. Distributed operating systems. These connect multiple computers to work as a single system. Each computer may handle different tasks. Picture a group of friends working together to solve a big puzzle. They each do their part, but they're working together to reach the same goal. Real-time operating systems. These are designed for systems where tasks need to happen immediately, like medical devices or car engines. Imagine a traffic light system. It must change lights at precise times. RTOS helps systems respond instantly when needed. There's no room for oops here. Network operating systems. These manage computers in a network making it easy for them to share resources like files or printers. Think of an office with several computers connected to a single printer. The ultimate sharing is caring OS. It connects everyone and makes sure no one has to fight over resources. Mobile operating systems. Designed specifically for mobile devices like smartphones and tablets. It's like the brain of your phone managing apps and features optimized for touch and mobility. Now, you might ask, why use an operating system at all? Well, let me tell you. First off, the OS is the ultimate resource manager. It makes sure all your hardware, like the CPU, memory and storage, is working together in harmony, ensuring optimal performance. The OS makes interacting with your computer so much easier. Whether it's a command line or a fancy GUI, it provides a friendly interface so you can focus on what matters. Want to run multiple apps at once? No problem. The OS handles multitasking like a pro, 
making sure your apps don't step on each other's toes. The OS protects your system from unauthorized access, keeping your data secure and your resources safe from intruders. Because nobody likes a hacker. Thanks to the OS, developers don't need to worry about the nitty-gritty hardware details. The OS abstracts all that complexity, so you can just write code and let the OS handle the heavy lifting. And lastly, the OS ensures compatibility, providing a consistent environment where your software can run smoothly across different hardware systems. So next time you boot up your computer, remember, your OS is on the job, making sure everything runs like clockwork. From resource management to security, it's your computer's unsung hero. Stay curious, keep exploring, and I'll catch you in the next adventure. Peace out.